Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to control a fan using the Pi as a Modbus server. We're going to use pulse width modulation. As you can see here, I've got I've got a Darlington transistor to up the well, 5 volts won't handle this fan, so I'm I've got a 12 volt adapter hooked up to this Darlington transistor hooked into one of my GPIO pins. Also, I've got the temperature sensor, uh, DR, uh, DS18B20, I think it is, using the one wire protocol, um, sitting in front of the fan right here. It's really hot in this room, so I don't know if that will have much effect. Um, anyway, first I'd like to show you the code to... Okay, so first of all, let's go over um, source code. I uh, saved this in the GitHub, if those who want to see it can. I'll leave the links below. I set up my temperature sensor as I did before, just um, the one wire protocol with Raspberry Pi. Um, I chose pin 25. I set it out as an output. I used the built-in Raspberry Pi pulse width modulation library built into the GPIO library. I set it at a 60 hertz cycle. Um, that way, it, when it's at a low duty cycle, like 5%, it would it won't stall. Anything below that does, it just kind of twitches. You'll probably see that. Um, we'll start it at 100%, and then um, we'll go down to our main. So we, we start setting up our Modbus server here. I set up two asynchronous looping calls. One is to read what's been saved remotely and copy it or check it and see if it's different from what's stored in the data block and then run the duty, the change the duty cycle accordingly. You can see it up here. Um, it's going to be in the holding register, which is really four, but since we start at zero. Um, and if the value doesn't equal the duty cycle, we'll, we're going to show it, and then we're going to save it temporarily, and then uh, change the duty cycle. Um, we'll run that every, right here, every tenth of a second. We'll also update the writer. Um, if something else changes the value and we, we need when people read it it display correctly we'll update that value from the local variables such as my temperature and the duty cycle um, we'll run that every half a second and the reason I do it not as often is it, they kinda clash if they're running at the same frequency. We want to run th this one more often because um, we start it with the default port 502. Uh, I tried adding this but it's not working in the later versions. I'm not sure why. Taking it out helped. Um, and then if it ever we ever close it, it uh, does some cleanup work. And let's see it in action, shall we? Um, well, I have a kept server here, and I'm going to open up my putty. I'm going to run it. You can see I ran it before. Clear. All right. So it starts it at 100%. The temperature starts reading and displaying. Uh, I'm going to put this off to the side while we run. Run it half. 
half screen. Remote it into a machine. Uh, run quick client. This uh, kept servers demo only runs two hours, but the it's free. You get a ton of drivers for those who didn't know. Um, as you can see, I I set up the two um, Modbus addresses right here. They're both words. And we should be reading 100 and the temperature. You can see on off to the side that the pi is changing and then you can see it updated half a second after. Uh, we can change the speed and if you look at the LEDs, that's the best way to tell. I'm going to go at half speed, 50%. And that was pretty instant because our writer is every tenth of a second. Not our writer, our the one that's listening for writes. So that's 50%. We can go to 10. You barely see, you can see it barely spinning. It might spin at five. We'll get, we'll see. It's kind of twitching. If we go any lower than five, it'll probably quit. Here's four. Yeah, it quit. So. This can be useful for LEDs, motors, DC fans. You just need to change your um, power and the way you're um, receiving that PWM. Whether it be a MOSFET that can handle more amps or a triac. Um, that's it. Um, thank you very much. If you have questions, leave comments below.